So the book Out of the Maze, we are going through the story and the message behind it, guys. So by the way, if you want to listen to this again, go over to YouTube to Stump Station and subscribe because I'll be putting the video up there now of the story. So if you ever miss it, just head over there, guys. So that being said, right now we've gone through what happened on Who Moved My you Cheese. Can make book reviews on YouTube. Because you read a lot. I've definitely slowed down. I was doing one a week and now I'm that probably motivating you to read one a week. True. So you can make a video about it. And then I could do a video like this talking about the actual book. That'd be yeah. cool. That'd be pretty good. Guys, let me know. I'm saying this, let me know in the comments, <laughs> guys, if you want to see that and I'll do it more often. Out of the maze. We've got adding to Who Moved My Cheese, alright? The story is where who? started to get angry, betrayed and upset and angry again. He decided that, Halas, I need to leave Sea Station and go into the maze in the dark, in the all these horrible alleyways, which is quote unsafe. And he needs to either have a choice. He either needs to find cheese or he'll die. So there's three things that kicks in. He says, if you don't find cheese, I will die. The maze is a scary place. And it's up to me on my own. I'm on my own. No one's going to save me. And he writes this down in little notes. So he picks up his tools, gets everything ready, puts his boots on. All of his, like, what he says is, like, stuff that helps him find the cheese, you know? He has to have all this with him. And he heads into the maze. And when he gets into the maze, he sees all these notes on the walls from hell. And it says, old beliefs do not lead to new cheese. And he was like, that's a load of rubbish. He's like, if, if I found cheese before, I can find cheese again. If I've got cheese with these, I can find it. He goes to many, many, many places. And he finds a little bit here and there to survive. And he's still getting tired. He's getting more exhausted. But every time Hugh sees all these notes, he sees it over and over and over again on all the walls, written. And he's like, this is rubbish. This is a load of BS. And he gets upset more and more and more. Randomly, he just passes out, sleeps. He's so exhausted. Out of hunger. He's so tired. And this randomer called Hope, incredible woman, she wakes him up, offers him. Who's Hope? New person in the story. Okay. So, new person in the story, Hope. Is she like is a fairy godmother or something? She's a real person. We're going to find out. She's okay. a she's like, I actually thought that at the beginning. She might be a fairy godmother, but no, no, she's a real person. And Hope offers this red rock to who and said, eat it. And he said, no, 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 it's not cheese. I can't have it. A red rock. Red rock. Edible. You're going to find out. Because okay. that's what it says in the story. So, yeah, you see, oh, a red rock, right? And he's like, why would I eat a red rock? No, 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 I only have cheese. That's the only thing I can eat. It's the only thing I can have. She's like, no, trust me, it's good for you. And they go back and forth. She's like, look, you're going to die if you don't. In the end, she leaves him. Like, they're in the same place, if you will, but she just leaves him, leaves to another room. And he, he smells kind of, like, sweet. I don't have a choice. Eats the rock and it's delicious. It's sweet. It's crunchy, but also edible on the inside. And Hope comes back, sees that he's eating the apple. She was like, do you want some more? Because he's exhausted. He's going to die. So she gives him two more apples. They were apples. Uh-huh. Like, like, uh -huh. I thought it was apple, I thought it was candy. Okay. So like, I was like, why is he not going to click? They're apples, bro. So she gives him two more apples. He eats the apples. And he's like, do you have any more of it? She was like, that's actually my last one. And so she's hungry. He's like, are you not hungry? She said, yes, but you were starving. So I felt like Aww. you needed it. What was her name, Rachel? Hope. Hope. <laughs> Come on, like, hope. Like, anyway. So her mindset in everything is completely different to who's. And throughout the story now, she's like, look, we should leave. We need to find new food. And he's going, no, I can't do this. This isn't right. All right. So after giving the free apples, Hope questions everything. Why do you have all these tools? And he's like, because these tools help me find cheese. He goes, do the tools really help you find cheese? And he gets very upset, very angry. Who said, I want things to go back the way it used to be. So like in a massive argument, he's like, I want things to go back the way it used to be. I'm sick of these questions. I don't want to go through this terribleness of trying to find food to survive. I just want to enjoy and go back to what it used to be. Pope says, don't you think things never go back to the way they ever were. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very good quote. Like, things are never going to go back the way they used to be. Life is always changing. Life is always growing. And this is a lesson I thought of straight away. 
Think about the greatest moments you've had in your life. They're never going to come back. True. They're never going to be the same. And everything you go for in life is never going to be the same outcome. And I think that was a great lesson learned here. Also, not, not to live in the past. And but the, the, the thing, everyone lives in the past. And this is the point of the story. Because who was living in the past? He wanted, he wanted the same pleasures that he was getting before and he didn't have it anymore. And that was the food. And... And this also goes to like so many other people that had success like earlier in life, who said like later in life. Mm. They're always living in the past. That's so, true. Like, I thought I was gonna be this. I thought I was gonna go there. I thought I was gonna be here. But then it just took a turn for the worse. That's true. The thing is, like, people need to realize that you're doing something wrong. You do need to feel good and do these things, right? Mm. And who did not want to change? He thought his beliefs made him who he was. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. Do, do you believe that your beliefs define who you are? To an extent, yes. So, everyone normally believes this. And this is where my mind really made me think, right? Because you are what you believe in. But what are beliefs? What we were taught. No. Beliefs are thoughts. Yeah, what we were taught. So, Hope said to him, you can't change. And he said, why would I want to? He shrugged and still haven't found cheat. And then he shrugged, said nothing. And he said, we still haven't found cheese, mm -hmm. right? That's what Hope said. You can change your mind, right? Mm -hmm. But not change who you are. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I've read in the book. I'm just gonna flip through the book right now, straight to it. And it was an incredible, incredible quote that I need to find. Mm -hmm. Your beliefs are single-handedly just sports. Oh, and every couple of pages there's like a- Yeah, there is. There's an apple. You are not your beliefs. You are the person who chooses your beliefs. Mm -hmm. So your beliefs are single-handedly what you think to be possible. Mm -hmm. So everything you believe in, you believe to be possible, mm -hmm. right? And everyone, this is what I like, people don't like to believe in outcomes that they can't see, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How many outcomes do you have in your life that you can't see? Very little. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like this quote a lot, right? There's a lot of believers in God or Allah out there. Mm. No one's ever seen him or it or who. But yeah, you all believe, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that is the way that you really need to think about it. It's like you believe in this incredible being mm. that created everything, but you can't change your beliefs on life just because you can't see it, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that had the biggest impact. It's ironic. And that's what I mean, it's ironic. It's, it had the biggest impact for me. So it makes you really think, right? You are not your beliefs. You are the person who chooses your beliefs on that quote. And it says, what would you do if you believed something different was possible? Mm. And who is going through all these messages in his head in the story? And what happens next even better. But let's play a few tunes. When we come back, we're going to continue that story, guys. And you're going to love it. Shabab and Abs, we'll see you guys in a few. Welcome to the Shabab and Banat show. I am really enjoying the show and the topic that we're discussing. I am excited. Liam, please finish, the, continue the story. Yeah, so we're talking about the book, Out of the Maze. And if you weren't listening, I'm very sorry, but head over to YouTube and you will see all the clips on Stump Station where I go for the whole story. So right now, we are going for a phase where who in the story and hope are trying to find new food, otherwise they're gonna die, basically. Don't worry, it's just a, not an actual like. Is hope magical? No. Does that have magic powers? No, you might think that because of hope, you just got excited because it reminded you of Charmed, right? So relax, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, chill, relax, it doesn't do that. Uh, so Hope and Q need to find cheese or apples. That's the way they survive, that's the way they eat. When Who went to bed that night, he was still like thinking of all these things that Hope said, questioning everything that he believed in. Why does he have his tools? Why do these tools really help him find food? And is everything really the way he thinks? And then when he woke up, he thought, what is a belief? And we went for it a second ago. It is a thought that I trust is true. That's so, deep. So every thought you ever have you believe to be true is a belief. Mm. And most of your beliefs are not true. And he was holding on to his beliefs and his beliefs were keeping him prisoner. Because at the end of the day, he believed that he needed his tools to find cheese. Cheese was the only thing that he could eat, which he realized not to be true. He could only live in a certain place. He couldn't go in the maze because the maze is a scary, dark place. And it sounds- Why is it dark though? Isn't it daytime? It's a maze. It's like covered. You can't see anything. Oh, it's even covered on top. You can't see the sky, nothing. Because when you say maze, I just think of like, you know, 
like, uh, what, what's that the movie called? Maze um, Runner? No. Um, well, it's like Maze Runner. The what? Disney uh, uh, animation film from like the 60s. When she jumps in the hole. No. Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Def I don't know. I've never seen it. So, I've actually never seen Alice in Wonderland. Never? No. Not even like the new one from like 2006? Or no. 2009? No. 12? You could give another year and it's still going to be there. <laughs> so, that being said. You're missing out. He said, you can change your mind to, ch to have new beliefs, but it does not change who you are. Mm -hmm. So, just because you change the way you think, just because you change and believe in something new, it doesn't define you. But your beliefs hold you back. And people need to realize this in life, is that what you believe in does hold you back in life. And we were talking about money off air about investments and talking about property and everything. And many people need to realize that if they just learn something new and open their mind to investing in certain ways, it can be very possible for you to change your life a lot. And we've literally got in our mind that life is all about working until retirement, mm -hmm. saving for retirement, and then enjoying life for a few years. Mm -hmm. We've got it in our heads, mm -hmm. but we don't have a job we enjoy. We hate what we do. We end up just surviving until we in our 60s, when in fact, we can live now. And there's so many things that you need to change in your beliefs to allow you to actually enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And people are probably going to think, oh, Liam, you're crazy. But I literally, the quote I said before is that we believe in God, we believe in Allah, but we've never seen that being ever, ever. And I think that's, that's fine. And I agree. But why can't you change your beliefs what you've never seen before? It's contradicting, you know? Yeah. So you can believe in something that isn't that you have not seen to be true. And like we said, a belief is just a thought to be true. Mm -hmm. So you need to start believing in yourself in a different way, right? Your beliefs don't define who you are, but they can hold you back from becoming who you want to become. You are not your beliefs, but you are the person who chooses them. That being said, what would you do if you believed everything is possible and everything and you had no limits? So really think about that. And Really think about this. Everything, every belief or every thought you get is not a belief. Every thought can be controlled to be like, is this true or not? Yes or no. Just because you overthink a situation doesn't mean it's going to be true. All right. Then with all this coming to his mind in one hit, they continue for their journey and they go for the maze because they used to believe the maze was scary. Like many things in life, everyone thinks something's scary until they do it. And it's not that scary. Mm -hmm. Like how many people are scared of public speaking, going out in public, mm -hmm. being on camera, asking their boss for a raise, all these things. And it's not actually that scary. Mm -hmm. You just believe it to be because you don't know the outcome. Mm -hmm. So he was like, what if the maze isn't that scary? What if these dark alleyways don't have anything down them? So they go out in the maze and they just do go for it. They're like, what have we got to lose? We're gonna, you know, at the end of the day, if we don't eat, we're gonna die. So, if we go into the maze and it's a scary place and we're going to die, it's no different. So he's forced to go out. So they continue down the maze. They go to many places. They find little bits of apple, little bits of cheese. They survive, but nothing to sustain life. And then they find this house. Very weird looking house. And it doesn't look like a normal house with all these walls and doors, but they open one of the doors and they see things that they've never seen before. Mm. They see the sky. It's blue. They see the sun. They see flowers. They see green everywhere. And they're not used to it. They see apples. They see mm. cheese. They see everything. And then they see Hal, Scully, and Sniff. A reunion. That wasn't really what I'm getting. But <laughs> the, yeah, so basically they see these people outside of the maze. Living their best life. Living their best life. They left early and found it. And right at the end right here you see them leave the maze in this place that isn't the maze anymore they're outside of it something they never believed to be even possible and now they're living outside of it and a lot of people need to realize this in life is that just because you believe your life is these square walls that you live in isn't necessarily true and when you leave outside of that it expands your mind to what believe is true and some key takeaways, all right? The way out of the maze, the way out of changing your life, the way out of to change. Notice your beliefs. A belief is a thought that you trust is true. Don't believe everything you think. Sometimes facts are just how you see things. So everyone says things as facts, but they're not always true. Mm. Let go of what isn't working. 
Everyone needs to realize this. Many things stop working in life and stop being good and you still hold on to them and hope it's gonna get better, right? Your job, relationships, people. It's not work anymore. Just cut them off, halas, give up. It's not a bad thing, but it's over. People change. You can't launch a new quest with old baggage. So just because you've gone through so much in the past does not mean it can stop you actually living the future. Look outside the maze. Consider the unlikely and explore the impossible. Everything you think is impossible is probably possible and someone else has already done it. Choose a new belief. Change what you think doesn't change who you are. So accept who you are as a person and be like, do I believe that making this amount of money is possible? No, I need to change that. Do I believe that this is my life forever? No, I need to change that. Everything is possible if you change the way you think and the way you feel and attack it from there. And there are no limits to what you can believe. You can do, or you can do, experience and enjoy a lot more than you think you can. And this is the way to, if I'm honest, escape life right now and realize that you can achieve so much more in life than you ever realized. And I think this is the biggest takeaways of the book is that people are gonna come and go. And even though it took him so much longer to reach the journey that the others felt, you can still make it to outside of the maze, outside of your life and create something that you never thought was possible through belief and taking action outside of what you used to believe was possible. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go <laughs> on a little break. And uh, we'll be back with more to talk about. See you guys in a few. You were basically sleeping. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was a nice story, but like, it seems like a bedtime story. It's not a bedtime story. You're just fucking half asleep. <laughs> Listen, you need to read that book to me while I'm, I'm not reading sleep. a book to you. <laughs> that was a good ass book. I need somebody to read that to me while I'm going to sleep. I read it before bed. It was really good. Yeah, I think it did it help you sleep better. Uh, any, if you read before bed, it always sleep, make, makes you sleep better. Yeah. Fuck the vibe. All right, guys, look. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the story of Out of the Maze. All right? If you want to have more book reviews and you want to hear more stories, comment down below and I'll gladly do so. I don't mind going for the books I've already read and giving you the context and the perspective of myself. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, peace.